Mm, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. If this is your first time here or a repeat visitor, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. So if that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in what videos, there'll be links in the description box below. Today, I'm going to walk along Niagara Street in downtown Toronto. So this is a small street, stretches from Portland and Niagara to Queen Street and Niagara. So I'll try to finish the whole street. And I decided to choose a small street rather than a big street because the scenes and elements you're going to see are going to be different than a big street which is very interesting so it looks like we have a dog park here but it's all snow and it's actually very cold today the temperature is about minus 20 degrees celsius and i have uh, gloves and heavy socks and also face mask so if my voice sounds a little bit... Niagara, right? Sorry? Hello? This is Niagara Street. Niagara. Niagara, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the delivery guy was looking for the street. So the, the street coming up is Bathurst Street and we will cross and go straight. So the all buildings you're looking in front, those are actually in Liberty Village, which is not far from here. And you can see that there's light snow or a bit of flurries, but extremely cold temperature. And looks like it's gonna be like this for a few days. And uh, tomorrow is Valentine, so I see a lot of people are preparing for tomorrow. You know, getting flowers and gifts. So this is actually a long weekend. Monday is off for family. So we're going to cross the street. So here you're looking at the Bathurst Street, and you have a glimpse of the Bathurst Bridge, which I have covered in my several other videos. And then the Bathurst is still going not down this way, leading to the Bathurst Subway Station. And the street we are looking in front is going to be King Street, although we are not going to that direction. Okay, so you got the walk sign. So I'm going to be talking once in a while and I talk about a variety of stuff, not just about walking. And right now I'm working actually on a long video which I haven't tried before, so it's going to be about a four hour video showing lake and city and you know giving the ambience noise of the city and this is going to be coming up on my channel very shortly. So if you're interested you can definitely take a look. Check it out. So this house right here looks like the red color is kind of sticking out. Yeah, I don't know. And here we are passing a very old building. So it doesn't look like anything is going on here. So most probably it's not, you know operational anymore and I see some notices here and there so most likely they're going to be converting it into a condo at one point 
So this is street offers you both new condos, townhouses or and old houses which you can see all the way. For example if we look right in front you'll see some old houses and these are newer condos. So it has a mixture of everything and along the way there are some you know small stores, mom and pop shops, restaurants. Although most of them are closed due to COVID situation. But this is a very nice and peaceful street to walk on. It's just right in the middle of the downtown Toronto, but it's not really crowded. Tecumseh Street. So here is the glimpse of the highway. So people are walking their dogs. And here is another nice small store that looks like closed. We have a nice tree here. So I can feel my fingers, you know, kind of freezing inside my gloves. So definitely it's going to be difficult to stay too long. But I think I don't have to even stay that long. We're going to complete the Niagara Street tour. And here you can see some very old houses. very windy today and the wind muffler should block most of the wind but still I think we're gonna hear once in a while the wind noise so we just passed a small street let's take a look so this is Wellington Street And we'll continue on Niagara Street. So I see a red, looks like a temple or pagoda. So we're gonna take a look. It's a temple, it's a Buddhist temple. And here we have a nice restaurant, although they're closed, but you can see that there's some small restaurants. I like kind of this type of small neighborhood restaurants. And the temple is very colorful, nice looking. Uh, the, the dog was trying to catch some birds, but the bots flew away. So let's have a, another look at the temple. see a guy, someone going in, so most probably they still have religious services at this level. So you have some old apartments here, and the street coming up is actually King Street. We just saw a streetcar passing by. So this, the name of the building right here, City of Spirit. So 
for the intersection of King and Niagara. And we have a restaurant, Bogadu Irish Pub. Yeah, I remember this place has outside seating, so in the summer people can sit outside and you know eat. But not definitely not now due to the COVID situation. So here's a glimpse of King Street on both sides. Should be able to see the snow how far is. It's not heavy snow, but you know it's snowing. So you got the walk sign. I see another dog. Probably this dog is heading towards the big dog, which is right behind me. So continuing on Niagara Street, and you have another small street right here. Actually, I don't think this is even a street. It's just a lane entering the townhouses or condos. And some corner stores. Another small street here. Actually, it looks like just one lane street. And let me see if I can catch the name. It looks like Stanley Avenue and a glimpse of the back. And you can see it, the CN Tower right there, kind of sneaking out. So let's keep going here. So it looks like some artwork made of wood. It looks kind of cute. So actually, this is a deck here. And we are passing Adelaide Street West and we have a corner store right here. So the other side of Adelaide Street. So I was kind of thinking how I was going to walk today in minus 20, but once I started walking, you know, it feels okay, although my fingers are freezing. And we have another small street. See if I can get the name of the street. Actually, I don't see any name here, 
so I'm not even sure Queen Street is coming up and that should be actually the end of Niagara Street, very small street but it's a nice pleasant walk I mean nice pleasant walk Corner of Richmond and Niagara right here and Richmond continues from here again so a glimpse of the street on the other side Around the dock coming up. It looks like snow fall is increasing. So it looks like it's gonna continue this way all day today. Small alleyway, lots of graffiti work. It's just you know behind the buildings but they did some artwork or graphic work here so here this is queen and niagara and this is where niagara street ends so a very small street and i have a video of queen street which you'll find this part i'm going along farther on queen street but for today Let's have a glimpse of Queen Street on both sides. So this is a very nice street to walk. But I have covered this in another video. So I'm going to be... You'll see that in the description box below. And for today, this is where the video is going to end. So thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Thank you.